NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams have returned to Earth after being stuck in space for more than nine months. Their SpaceX capsule parachuted into the Gulf of Mexico early yesterday evening, just hours after departing the International Space Station. The splashdown bringing their space saga to an end. The astronauts whose short mission ended up lasting nine months have returned back to Earth. And splashdown, Crew 9 back on Earth. Commander Sonny Williams and Captain Butch Wilmore, along with two other members, arrived in a SpaceX capsule charred from its journey through the Earth's atmosphere. Their return comes nine months after their faulty Boeing Starliner craft upended what was to be a week-long stay at the International Space Station. Following the landing, NASA's commercial crew program manager praised their resilience and flexibility. And they moved very quickly into station increment operations and they became seamlessly part of the International Space Station. And they did that because they're experienced astronauts and we had prepared, right? We had flown gloves for them to do spacewalks and we had flown a lot of components for them. So I think that shows the adaptability of crew members. Their return caps a protracted space mission that was fraught with uncertainty and technical troubles and turned a rare instance of NASA's contingency planning and the latest failures of Boeing Starliner into a global spectacle. The astronaut pair had launched into space as Starliner's first crew in June for what was expected to be an eight-day test mission. But issues with Starliner's propulsion system led to cascading delays to their return home, culminating in a decision last year to have them take a SpaceX craft back this year as part of the agency's crew rotation schedule. They were doing all the experiments that that crew would have done instead of the two astronauts that originally would have been coming up. Uh, so they've been doing all sorts of experiments, things like material science, human health. A really interesting thing is that when you're in microgravity for a long period of time, you kind of have accelerated aging. So that gives us an idea of what happens during the aging process so it can help us here on Earth. Swept up in the rotation schedule, Wilmore and William worked on roughly 150 science experiments aboard the station until their replacement crew launched last week. The pair logged 286 days in space on the mission, longer than the average six-month ISS mission length, but far short of U.S. record holder Frank Rubio, whose 371 days in space ending in 2023 were the unexpected result of a coolant leak on a Russian spacecraft. But now that the crew is back, they will be under direct medical supervision for a couple of weeks. Then they'll continue to do physiotherapy to make sure that they're they're getting back to normal as quickly as possible. Experts say they'll have to adapt to being back on Earth. And you've been magically floating weightless in their case for nine months and, and and now suddenly your arms they have to lift your arms up but inside your body as well your heart for the first time in nine months has to lift the blood all the way from the tips of your toes to the top of your head they've got a bunch of readaptation to to get their bodies back used to gravity where they grew up and it's painful they haven't stood for nine months and so the muscles in in their you know their legs and their rear end will hurt. The four astronauts are expected to address the public at some point in the next few weeks.